How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Foot 2004 once again. It's time for all the information about Update 14. Just finished watching the live stream, I'm ready to record it and edit it and get it uploaded straight away. Here is everything you need to know about Update 14 which is coming out within the next day or two from when this video is going to be released. All the new cars, all the new features and everything you need to know. I have to apologise, I'm reading all the information off of my phone which is just going to be here. So first with the new cars and the festival playlist. For the whole series in this month's festival playlist at 50% for the whole series you can unlock the Caddy Limo and at 80% you can unlock the Ferrari Sir 166mm. And now into the seasons. For the first week which is summer at 50% completion you can get the uh, exclusive rare car the Honda NSXR. This is not a new car. At 80% completion in the first week you can get the McLaren 600LT which is one of the new cars this month. It's worth mentioning that this first week you can also get the Ferrari 59X X Evo as well in an exclusive championship. Onto the second week which is autumn at 50% completion you can get the Mini John Cooper Works 2012. At 80% completion you can unlock the Koenigsegg 1 to 1. And then in an exclusive championship, you can unlock the Volkswagen IDR all electric, massive amount of downforce electric beast. This is the second new car of this month. As you can see, there's a picture on screen of it. It's an absolute monster. It's got a massive wang. This is available, as I said, through an exclusive championship or maybe a trial. I think it might be a trial in week two in autumn. Week 3, which is winter, at 50% completion you can get the new Ford F-150 Diberti design. At 80% completion, the Cadillac Escalade, and then through an exclusive championship, the BMW M3 GTR, which is a little rare car. But that's the third new car, the Ford F-150 Ford F-150 Diberti design. And then in the fourth week, which is spring, we can unlock at 50% completion the Pontiac GTO 1965. At 80% completion, the Chevy Impala. And then through an exclusive championship, the Reventon Forza Edition. Nice little rare car. And also the brand new McLaren 720S Spider. So that is four of the new cars that are going to be in this month. One of them in week one, one of them in week two, one of them in week three, one of them in week four. Two McLarens, the Volkswagen electric thing, and the Ford F-150 pimped up. Those are the only new cars from this month. But at least this month we do have quite a bit of new features as well, which I'm going to get into next. So now on to all to the features. We've showcased the four new cars. Let's talk about the features. And there's a new showcase remix coming out. A new remix showcase. They've not remixed before, if that makes sense. And something that was in Torben Tuesday, or one of the many things that was in Torben Tuesday, we now have the ability to sell duplicate cars. As you can see on screen, a screenshot of how it works. If you open up a wheel spin and you get a car that's already in your garage, you get a prompt where you can add it to your garage anyway and sell it on the auction house if you get a rare thing, for example, a taxi. Or you can just sell it straight up for half of what it's worth. So for example, let's say you get the Jaguar D-Type for the second time. We all know that the D-Type's worth, I think, 10 mil. I think that's the value it has. So potentially, if you get the D-Type twice, you may get prompt to sell it for 5 million credits, which will be very good. This works in all wheel spins, apart from if you're in the middle of like a team adventure or something, I think they said. If you're playing online, you won't get the prompt. It will just go straight to your garage. But other than that, if you're just opening a wheel spin normally, you can get prompt to sell your duplicate cars, finally. Another new feature is the Root Creator fixes and additions and stuff like that. Root Creator has been revamped a little bit. We now have the ability to create a root, finish it, test it. If you realize something's wrong with it and you want to you know, edit it, you can now actually go back and edit from a certain checkpoint. You don't have to completely redo the race all over again. For example, if I make a race that's this long, I test it and finish it and realize that, hang on, it's broken here. I can go back to here and start from there and make the roots again. So that'll save a lot of time if you end up making a race that just needs a little bit of tinkering. You can go back and do that without redoing the whole thing. Another new feature to do with Root Creator, you can now search for Root Created Roots. 
custom routes by other players. If you go to your creative hub and click the search thing in the bottom left, you'll see an enormous amount of different presets and things you can change to search for a route made by another player. So if you want to look around for custom routes, you can do it this way, or if you want to kind of let your friend play your route, you can give him the route's share code, which you can make when you're hovering over the route and you input the share code in the bottom box as you can see on screen and your friend will they'll be able to search for your race and your race only but if you just want to play custom route you can search for some that you fancy here oh that took too long to explain another new thing we've got 11 new achievements worth 250 gig this was quite obvious in the Torben Tuesday um, the achievements will vary from top gear chapters, you know, completing those, seasonal championships and stuff like festival playlist has some new achievements now like reaching 100%. So if you're an achievement hunter, you've got 250 gig worth of achievement being added. And there's also been some little fixes and updates as well. For example, festival playlist percentages have been fixed. If they're a bit glitchy and they've not been correct for you, they should be all right now if you kind of refresh it. Apparently been an issue, I think within StarCard, the game isn't counting player houses correctly. It's not counting your Forzathon um, tracking correctly. It's not counting your showcase remixes that you've played, and apparently that's all fixed. The game should count up the things you're doing correctly now. And another thing, there's been a livery issue on the taxi being fixed as well. But other than that, I believe that's everything. I've just stormed through it as fast as possible. So just a very quick recap in case you missed anything. Sorry, my dog's decided to join me for this one. Four new cars come in this update. The McLaren 720S Spider, 600LT Spider, sorry, 600LT the F-150 truck and the electric Volkswagen thing. Feature-wise, we now have the ability to sell duplicate cars that we get in wheel spins. We also now have the ability to search for route-created custom routes made by members. <laughs> That's it, just sniff the mic. And we also have the ability to edit checkpoints as we go, don't you dare lick my keyboard. We have the ability to edit checkpoints that we've made in route-created routes. There's all the bug fixes, there's all the updates. Oh, look at him. This wasn't, this isn't going to plan. We have all the bug fixes, all the updates and stuff like that. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty good update so far. Other than that, I believe that's everything. I'm going to throw this in just as an extra. As we all know, this kind of week is Forza Horizon 4's anniversary. So they gave us a photo of all the things that they've done this year. And to be honest, it made me realise that there's only a few things on this picture that they've actually made us pay for. It's quite impressive how much they've given us for free the amount of features the amount of cars to be honest that they've just given us for free it's quite good and you know to be honest they've done pretty well with giving us updates over the past 12 months or however long it's been but obviously 12 months it's their birthday and obviously as they've said there is a lot more to come i'm sure because we're not getting a forza this year we've still got another year from this week to be honest until we possibly even possibly how many times can I say possibly get Forza Motorsport 8? So we've probably got another year's worth of updates, cars and features to come on Forza Horizon 4. Which is pretty cool. So... Ooh. You know what, I'm out to turn off. I know lately lots of people have been doing videos about the updates being a bit slack recently, but... I'm not complaining that much. I know that Forza Horizon 4 at some point I thought was dying, which to be honest, I still think it was, but I think the expansions revived it. Festival playlists has revived it. And just all the new things and new cars that they've added have definitely revived it. And to be honest, this month we've got four pretty cool new cars. Two of them are supercars. One of them some kind of hyper electric car and another thing is a nice big truck. So they've done pretty well. There's nothing else about this update that we know. We don't think we'll be told anything about next month's update. So to be honest, next month we're going to be completely in the blue. Apart from Torben Tuesday, which will be about three weeks from now. So if you're looking for the next update vid, stay tuned three weeks from now for Torben Tuesday for update 15. Other than that, I may very well stream this update this week when it's out. Another thing that I do need to mention, at some point we still need to do the 50 lap of Lego Goliath. I have made a custom route on the Lego expansion that I'm planning on doing 50 laps of. Should take between 6 to 10 hours, so hopefully, providing I can live stream properly, we're going to be doing a 6 to 10 hour live stream on the Lego map, 50 laps. It's going to be a good stream. It'll be on a Saturday at some point. Hopefully within the next couple of months we'll be doing it. So keep an eye out for that announcement in a video. Leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone, subscribe if you haven't already for more Fort Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.